What do the economy, transportation, and information sectors all have in common? They all need energy to go and grow. That's why our energy engineers leave, ready to tackle a range of pressing problems that are critical to society. Penn State was one of the top universities that offered an energy engineering program, and so that's the reason that I applied to Penn State. I honestly wanted to pursue this major because I understood that there's a lot of growth that is still happening and will continue to happen throughout my entire career. In energy engineering, you will learn the processes for meeting our energy needs while simultaneously shaping an energy path for a carbon neutral future. If you're someone who likes applying science and maths towards engineering solutions to new and existing problems, this might be the major for you. A degree in energy engineering provides you with a broad overview while also a niche understanding of what it means to be an energy engineer. The topic's quite vast, energy engineering, right? It's, it's traditional fuels, petroleum. A good energy engineer should, should understand all forms of energy, how to utilize them responsibly. It's that combination of the applications of various engineering disciplines to a concentrated topic. And I think that the faculty at Penn State and Penn State as a whole provides the resources to, to find those niche topics that we're looking for while also providing us with a foundational background to pivot if we end up not liking that specific topic that we're into. Our program, which is the nation's first ABET accredited energy engineering program, prepares students to be successful leaders in advancing the technology and management of energy. I remember being very inspired by, by some of the professors, just their, their wealth of knowledge in the field and being world-renowned experts. It was actually a lot more than just the um, actual research that I've done. For me, the most valuable thing out of it was the connection that I made with my research professor. They become innovators and entrepreneurs in the energy sector. They become educators, practicing engineers, and national leaders in the energy and associated environmental health and safety, policy, and economic fields. Everyone that I talk to in my classes has a parallel goal to mine. Um, they want to see the world changed for better. They are invested in renewables. They are curious to learn more about how to innovate and how to design to make sure that our planet sustains itself. Working with a lot of different people and a lot of different majors and is very representative of what you're going to face in industry. These programs give a very in-depth exposure to what the real world looks like in terms of career paths, energy development, and opportunities for growth as a, a student and professional. You'll start by building foundational knowledge in math, chemistry, and physics, and then more advanced topics like thermodynamics and fluid mechanics and then apply that knowledge to specific topics in energy engineering, such as solar, wind and hydropower, bio and other fuels, and hydrogen and fuel cells. A career in energy engineering might lead you to improving battery technology and electric vehicles. You might design solar farms and wind farms. Or help operate an electric grid. You might design solutions for off-the-grid technology. Your future can be wherever energy exists. The world needs batteries. The world needs further installation of solar panels across huge landscapes or retrofitted onto architecture. They need energy engineers to do that. The energy engineering major is broad in its scope of how, what you can choose to pursue. You can, you can work here in the U.S. with currently developed technology, um, or you can work um, in, in other countries that don't already have that technology, and both are equally important. Energy engineering provides you with the foundations to navigate between different energy resources and understand how they are connected to the grid, how they are connected to people, and how they can propel you into any career that you want. This is a rapidly changing and expanding field that will require experts serving in so many critical areas. Mitigating climate change requires a transition from conventional forms of energy generation. Energy engineers play a critical role in helping society adopt new energy technologies while ensuring that energy needs are reliably being met. A lot of the skills that, that I know now is because these faculty members, they worked with those people that did those things. That exact type of work that I have done is applicable to the industry. Despite our advances, much of the well still live in energy poverty, and energy engineers can create solutions for lifting those people out of energy poverty while also employing clean forms of energy. Energy engineers will help shape this future where energy is reliable, affordable, renewable, and available to all.